All right, here we go. Another Isaac Daily run. Ooh, starting off with fortune cookie and was that Pisces? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to be picking up Mon's Contact here, which is going to freeze enemies, which is pretty nice. I didn't realize it also gave us a range upgrade. Huh. Oh, and there's Dreamcatcher. Speaking of Dreamcatcher, I had a comment. Oh, speaking of comments, here's a comment that I picked out. This one's from Gonjongo again. It says, good job, little Abaddon. Yeah, he did some serious work in yesterday's video, especially with the uh, trinket duct tape. If you haven't seen that, go check it out, even if you do skip around. So, thank you for the comment, and uh, appreciate all the support. And uh, I had a comment yesterday talking about Dreamcatcher where it didn't show uh, where I had accidentally skipped Dreamcatcher in yesterday's run. And uh, ooh, a little bit of dodge there. And it wouldn't have mattered because it was Curse of the Blind. I'm pretty sure that Dreamcatcher actually shows the item, even if you do have a uh, Curse of the Blind. And I think that is Pisces because we got significant knockback. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking it is. But, Fortune Cookie here is going to, uh, potentially give us, <coughs> excuse me, potentially give us some payouts. Whether it be Soul Hearts or Tarot Cards, I'm kind of hoping for more Soul Hearts, to be honest. Having 3 HP, I'm slightly tempted to get rid of the Golden Heart that we have here. So that way we can earn ourselves a little bit of moolah. And hopefully also get a bomb so we can blow up the donation machine and get a uh, get enough money for the oh there's a bomb and get enough money for the uh, dreamcatcher item there or we can just get a golden poop and lots of money no I don't want to go down the next floor or get enemies all right well looks like we're gonna be bombing ourselves so let's go back and do that now. Uh, it's going to be a little bit risky lowering our health in such a way, but you know what? That's what makes this game fun. High risk plays, high risk rewards. There we go. And we got a lot of money. Okay. That's just what I was looking for. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, there we go. And we'll end up getting that half soul heart back when we go down the next floor. That's one of the other things that... Uh, Dreamcatcher does is not only does it show you the item, it also will heal you for half a soul heart. So let's go ahead and fight our boss. And you know what? Carry on with our uh, talks. Yesterday I spent a large amount of time talking about uh, you know different frequencies and how and you know something that I was doing was listening to different stuff and you know different effects that I was having for myself. And you know what? I actually did a little research. Apparently there's been quite a bit of research in the effects of, you know, frequencies on the human brain. And there's a lot of, there's a, quite a few different ones that are constantly noted. Like there's like a 432 frequency or something that uh, apparently like aligns your two brain hemispheres together and um, does some positive things, which, you know, it's kind of freaky thinking that, you know, we aren't just, you know, a ball of chemicals that something such as, you know, frequencies and vibrations can, you know, have such a profound effect on people. And I think that's going to be it for this floor. So, yeah, let's head on down. Remember that I have Dreamcatcher. Yeah. And I don't care about the boss. <laughs> uh, but going to have iron bars there. That's going to be pretty good. Uh, the... I did pick up Eden's Blessing on yesterday's run. The reason why we don't have it here is because I went to do a practice run. I didn't even have... I had gotten, like, halfway through the run before I even realized, like, hey, there's a... Uh, there's an extra item here that you're not supposed to have. And I was like, oh, crap. Well, I can't really record when I'm halfway through a run. So, yeah. If you're wondering what it was, it was uh, Empty Vessel. That's what it was. The extra item. So, I apologize for that. I've, I've started taking... Precautions? Is that the word I'm looking for? And come on, Fortune Cookie. I'm, you're usually a really good method of getting HP, but you know what? You are sorely lacking this time. Not even a single soul heart out of... How many payouts? Man, that is rough.
Careful now. Let's see if I can bait him downwards. No, down here. No, 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 here. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. I was looking for the super secret room. And you know what? Sure, we'll go ahead and fight the boss. We're probably not going to end up going into the deal unless it gives us something with, like, HP. Are you kidding me? Come on, shoot another brimstone. I dare you. I wasn't really expecting that shot there. And there we go. We got a half heart as well and pentagram? Sure, why not? Lots of damage. It's very, very big. Uh, this gives us two black soul hearts. Uh, I would love to take Lord of the Pit. Sadly, we don't have the HP because of, well, first floor shenanigans and taking that extra uh, damage there. Ah, uh, man, that sucks. If we didn't take the damage from the boss, we would have gotten a half heart. Then we could have picked up Lord of the Pit and then taken the two black hearts from uh, the pack here. Man. Early flying would have been really good. Because then we could come over here and, you know, pick up that key. Pick up other, pick up this bomb and do other stuff. And I don't even know why I'm going back. So I guess we're, it, we're done for this floor. I mean, yeah, I could do a full clear, but I think the shop is just going to be there. And, well... There's no reason to uh, go back for that when we don't really have the money. Alright, well. Looks like we're picking up It Hurts. Unless that's Teleport 2.0. I don't think it was Teleport 2.0. Oh, there's a little Isaac headless thing going. I didn't even realize it. Uh, Yeah, we're just going to go with It Hurts. And that was just pause. Okay, well, I feel better about my decision. But I hope everybody's been having a good week so far. It's finally Friday. You know, cue the music. It's finally Friday. You know, I don't know the rest of the lyrics. But that means a uh, piece of day for me. As If you're new here and you don't know, uh, that's what I normally do on my Fridays is that I make myself a pizza. You know, I roll out the dough make it myself, let it rise, all that jazz, and, uh, well, it's not gonna be that good today, and the reason for that is because, well, I, uh, I don't have any more of my specialty flour, and for those of you out there, oh, we finally get a drop and it's a hero font, okay, well, you can keep doing that game, <laughs> I'd be perfectly fine with that, uh, but I don't have my, uh, there is a very large difference between specialty flours and, uh, you know, all-purpose flour. Even though you can make a pizza with all-purpose flour, it, it's it's so much better if you just, you know, spend a couple extra bucks and get, get actual pizza dough. Uh, do we fight the boss now? Sure, we'll fight the boss now. It's going to be Turglet. Okay, well... Not the easiest boss in the world for me, mostly because he does that little spin de -roo move. But with our damage here, we are just going to be annihilating. Like, gee, mini criminy, look at that. He didn't even get the get a chance to do anything. And we get the worst the worst boss item payout possible. Uh sure, we'll take Bloody Lust. It's a good way of uh, getting some form of retaliatory damage whenever you take damage. By that I mean you get an increase of uh, your own damage. Hit me and you make me angry. It's like the uh, it's like we're the Hulk. Honestly, that was a really fun movie to watch when I was a kid. The uh, Hulk movie, and I think it was two thousand two, two thousand two. It was released. I, I don't know when it was released. The first one was good. Well, I say good, but this is with the mind of, like, a four-year-old. Four or five-year-old. So, I can't really say too much to that. Hopefully, we don't get, uh... Aw, you jerk of a game. Can I do this diagonal? And we just get teleported. Okay, well... Pill time. Experimental pill is going to lower our speed stat, but give us luck and damage. You know what? I'm fine with that. Well, I kind of want my speed stat, but you know what? I think that was kind of a fair trade-off. 
Normally experimental pills are bad, but you know what? I think it, I think that was a fair trade this time. Honestly, I would have given up range to be honest. Half my range for a single damage upgrade. Yeah, I wasn't really, in, I'm not really a big movie person. Mostly because I can't really stand watching media more than once. Like, if I uh, watch a movie, then I'm, I'm good after watching that movie once. There's only been a couple of movies, or a series of movies, throughout uh, my entire time watching them, where I can watch them more than once. Weirdly enough, one of them was Transformers. Well, the first couple, and the later ones are just kind of bleh. Uh, another are the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Those were always fun. And, well, that's... Oh, we got a Tears Down. That is a little painful. I don't think it's going to hurt too much. Because our tier rate was good anyway. But it still still kind of hurts a little bit. Let me get a Golden Poop on this, this room. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take it. That just makes the uh, shot better. And why is it not... There we go, finally. I don't know. What are you what was what's your guys' favorite movie? Do you like the uh, sci-fi genre? Do you like the fantasy genre? I I well, another one is also Lord of the Rings. And that, that's also tied into the uh, the Hobbit series as well. I like I like fantasy. I like being uh the idea of different worlds and whatnot. I was... Mm. Come here, turdlet. Uh, we left him alone a little too long. He's probably going to try to do his little skirt-skirt move here. And, well, there's our tears up. Right back to where it was. Thank you, game. If only we can get, I don't know, six more of those. Maybe not six more, because then we'd uh, reach the max tears rate, and it wouldn't matter anymore. Alright. Well, I forgot to mention our trinket. We have the blister here, which is going to increase our knockback. I think we're going to be done with this floor. I do love seeing the, uh, the comments. <coughs> Excuse me. I love seeing the comments where uh, people are pointing out my mistakes. Uh, this isn't being me being snide or anything. This is me actually generally saying like I enjoy seeing that because then I can be like, you know what, you were right. Maybe I should, maybe I should, uh, you know, fix that. And we get Rotten Baby or Rotten Baby or Brother Bobby. It looks like Brother Bobby. Uh, and this is why I go the the alt path, so that way I can also get this lost form, just in case you get a curse room connected to your first. Ooh, wooden cross is pretty good. It's going to guarantee us a holy mantle effect until you get hit once on a floor. Just like that. Uh, I got stuck on the rock. A little embarrassing. But yeah, with the different comments, it, it's good to see. It's like, oh, you you missed a tenor rock here. I'm like, oh, did I? I didn't even realize. Together, the minds of however many people that watch this are greater than my own. Oh, I didn't even want to pay for pay for pause here. Oh, wait, the other remote was remote detonator. It wasn't pause. Yeah, that's right. Get that freezing effect. Good good bomb's contact. Honestly, this effect is, I would have to feel, pretty underrated. Being able to freeze your enemies is so nice. But then again, there are other tier effects in this game that are much, much better. And that's, that's something I... Oh, it was Rotten Baby. I was correct. Come along, buddy. He's going to be spewing out these little blue flies. They're going to be doing, I think, two and a half times our damage. Two and something. Basically twice our damage. Per fly. Uh, Sure, I'll use my only bomb here. And we did find the... Oh, great. It's the, the red key. All right. Um, Is it off our curse room? 
And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it is the red room, which can have red items. It's a specialty room you have to go through. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it because I am super bad at trying to find it. I know it has to be connected to two rooms. No, it has to be connected to a red room that's connected to two other rooms. That's essentially what it is. It can't be off our store because I think that's a mini. And I'm kind of wasting charges. I should probably go back and... You know what? It's probably next... Is it next to our library? It could be next to our library. Let's go look. We were making kind of good time, but I don't think boss rush is going to be a factor for today. I mean, it generally isn't a factor, but if I was rushing, then yeah, I would definitely go and try to do that. But you know what? Let, let's, do, let's do... Today's the day I'm learning. And look at that. There it is. <laughs> wow. That is the voice of somebody that generally was surprised because I wasn't expecting it to be there. Oh, look at that. It tears up. Thank you, Luckfoot. That was a tears down. And inside here is going to be... Hypercoagulation. Hmm. Well, it's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, the uh, Red Room, I learned this when I was watching Sinvicta yesterday. He, he's the uh, very big other Isaac uh, YouTuber. I think he's almost at 400,000 subs. I like watching him when I'm just like chilling out. I mean, generally, most of his play style annoys me, but you know what? He, he's got good commentary. It's mostly what I'm uh, modeling my own stuff after. And look at that. We found the super secret room, and we don't have any method. You know what? We have HP here, so we should should use this. And with hypercoagulation, ah, mover speed is so low, we can continuously get uh, heart payouts. But with the, uh, I couldn't reach it. Give me that. No, oh, they disappear so fast. Oh well, we got our 16 cents. I don't remember if there's anything in the shop we wanted. Hmm, can't remember. Oh well, it don't matter to me none, not anymore. Life is so simple when you just. Let things go. And we just get Brimstone. And we get Leviathan on top of it. You know what? Sure. I'll take it. Alright. Down to the next floor. A down we go. What's in our item room? It's going to be my reflection. You know what? My reflection is actually really good with uh, Brimstone. We get a horse pill. It's going to be a positive or a negative one. Or not negative. Neutral. What's it going to be? A luck upgrade. It's going to give us a two luck. Uh, hmm. Where is that red room going to be? It could be north of here. I don't know if it's... it's Okay, we could just... Fine. Give me that Give me that luck upgrade. It was a shop. You know what? That's not too bad. I'll take a shop. Uh, so the red room wasn't there. Brimstone is also really good if you have any, like, tier effects, like Little Horn, Holy Light, uh, what's another one? Uranus? For the freezing tiers? The planetarium item? Just because of the way that Brimstone works. It, uh, it doesn't do damage, like, one per tick. Uh, it does multiple ticks per, per shot. By ticks, I mean it's going to shoot... Every time you shoot, it does damage multiple times. Is basically what I'm saying. So each one of those quote ticks, or each time it it does that, uh, it can. This is a weird floor. I have no idea where the red room would be for here. It could. Uh, no, it would it wouldn't be there. Could it be north of here? No, it's just a regular room. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. The last shot from the turret. Hmm. This is a weird floor layout. But, like I said earlier, it's a little bit of a learning experience. I'm really bad. I've actually, in my past videos, have gone out of my way not to use the red key. 
or even like crack key or the soul of Cain is it yeah soul of Cain mostly because I just didn't want to you know look like an idiot uh I don't think it'll be here yeah it's not here but we do have our full card Which we could use on the next floor, or we could go down to Guiana. Or is it Mausoleum? I always forget which one it is. <laughs> the only problem with doing... This is going back to my... Uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, could be also south of here. If we're going by the uh, connected to two one red room connected to two, uh, I completely am losing my train of thought here. There we go. Uh, I'm talking about the red room. Could could be down here connected to. No, it's not. Okay. All right, well, who knows? If you got any tips or tricks on how to find the red room, then definitely leave it below, because I... I definitely have uh, issues using it, as you can probably see. I was a little shocked I found it the last floor. And look at that, a nickel. And I forgot what I was talking about before. Alright, looks like we're not going to find it on this floor. And there's a tinted rock. I'll give you a second to try to find it. It's right here. And yes, we're going to go down because we're going to try to do the... Ooh, I have the occult here. I generally don't like this item because you have to, you know, use this little thing here. But with brimstone, it is very nice. And with our full card, we can just go straight to the boss. And we get E. coli or a baby. I think we'll go with the baby. Because then we can get conjoined. Which I think does pretty well with uh, our setup here. I forgot to mention the... Uh, or talk about recently because before it gets to the point where it's too far gone. Uh, I'll, I'll come back and get all this once we uh, beat the boss. Or no, no, no. This is Guiana 1. So we're not going to be fighting Mom. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, the YouTube shorts that I have, I produced one, but I found out that with uh, gameplay, it tends to cut like down the center of the screen, so it's really bad. Okay, we're not going to take Cambian Conception. Uh, it's really bad if I don't have a specific editing software, so that way... Uh... Come on, pick up the pill. Aw, oh, another... Another horse pill luck upgrade. And we should run pretty quickly to the... To our item room, so we can go to the next floor quicker. But, the, uh... I've been using an outdated software. Which doesn't have that capability of, you know, you know focusing on a specific spot of the screen. Uh, if you're wondering, I've been using Windows Movie Maker. Yes, yes, the very same thing that was discontinued in, I think it was 2012 or 8. It's very old. I still had a copy of it, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to use that. Because it's very easy for, you know, base stuff. Like, you can still split and, you know, insert images and stuff like that. Which is what I've been, been doing. But for... More editing needs, it's it's not good. And we're just still looking for this item room. Like, geez, where could it be? 
Is it over here? Hey, there it is. All right. We were going for the baby, not E. coli. There we go, Robo Baby. We get one more and then we can get conjoined, which will be absolutely fantastic for us. We get another luck upgrade. Okay, we're at eight luck. Mom's contact is going to be procking all the time now. And also, we will have the max room clear rewards. And. Ah, oh, shoot. I'll just use it now. And uh, I know, I know where I'm leaving bombs behind, but with our slow movement speed, we need we need to start rushing. I do want to make it to uh, boss rush and get our get our pick of four different items. And inside item room is going to be Jacob's ladder, or was that uh, not stigma? Blood of the martyr. It's going to give us an HP and damage up. That is if we if we take it. I'll probably end up taking the. Electric one, Jacob's Ladder. Alright. I know, I know. I'm... I'm. Hey, there we go. I found it early. And it's going to be Sacred Heart. Okay. Alright, now we run. I'll, I'll come back and collect all this. I know, I know. The Blue Goblin and me is screaming as well. Like, you need to pick up the shiny... But I will come back. I just need to go quickly. We got one minute. There it is. There we go. Uh, sure, we go to the ball room here, and I'll pick up money equals power, because that's good. You know what? We'll go to the chest. And inside here is Loki's horn. Uh, it's either between Loki's horn or Maggie's bow. I think I'll go Loki's horn. I don't feel like doing boss rush today. And we get a death card. And we get more keys. I'm actually going to use a bomb here, so that way whenever we get an item right away, okay. Which is going to give us more HP. Stars card, we can use that now to go to our item room. Sure. And like I said, I was going to pick up Jacob's Ladder. I. There we go. That good electric effect. Very, very nice. Uh, Mom's box, nah. This is our last shop here, so we get BFF. Uh, no. What am I? I'm not really... I don't have anything I'm specifically looking for. And there's our last conjoin. Which means we are just at a shooting octopus. Uh, shoot, my brain died again. Octopus lasers. That's what I meant to say. Like, look at that. Just... Give me that nickel. Hermit card. Eh. It's whatever. And... I'll pick this money up and then go down. Yeah, I know there's still stuff that I left behind. But... We can make it the hush. With this. And we have four minutes to do so. So I'm going to give myself plenty of time. For even more... More possible items. And... Just gonna head on down, yeah. Maybe we'll fight Delirium. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's go, let's go beat up Hush and then fight Delirium. We haven't we haven't fought him in a while. Curse of the Blind doesn't matter. It's nice to see that we're full HP. Ooh, that gives us an an H a, not an HP upgrade, but it gives us a movement speed, which we desperately needed. So, thank you, Wooden Cross, for all that you've done. You have been greatly appreciated. But it's time for... It's it's not you, it's me. It's, it, 
it's time for us to go our separate ways. Alright, well... Don't see the red rooms anywhere near here. Just look at that damage. You love to see it. Get a little more moolah. And you know what? It could be here. Nope, it's not here. I have no idea where it would be on this floor. Like, look at this map layout. I mean, I guess it could be off the, uh, the, the one room there. The elbow room that was near the start. Like, south of that. Not actually in the elbow, but, you know... All right, let's go fight the boss and see how quickly it dies. Two volleys and it's dead. Uh, I would take perfection, but I, I don't want to give up the movement speed that we have right now. Hopefully, if you've made it this far, it shows that you're in, enjoying the video. And if you are, well, definitely stick around for more. Let's see what kind of goodies we get here. All right. Get a black rune. Okay, okay. This is why uh, Sackhead is really good. And, alright, let's pick up the black rune and see if there's anything inside there. Those, I may black rune that room. Uh, hmm. Sir, sure, we'll take up Sagittarius. It doesn't, it's a movement speed. I really wish there was the trinket uh, butter in here so I could buy uh, the eraser here and then you know throw it away inside here and then use the black rune to suck this up because none of this matters it gives us a damage and a fire rate increase okay that's that's good I'll take that did we we did blow up our donation machine all right well I think that's gonna be it for this are there red rooms in this there are red rooms in this okay I didn't realize there were It's good to know that you can't actually use the can't actually use the red key unless there's a red room. The moon card doesn't do anything for us. Okay. Well, let's go see. Let's go exploring a little bit before we go and fight Hush. What's on this side? Hey, it's the same layout. And we got Apple Sodom. No, thank you. Not good in this situation. We have a mini charge. Sure, let's see what's up this way. Never really used Red Key on the uh, the Hush stage. But uh, I'll go ahead and beat up the boss here. And uh, it's going to take a... It may take a little bit. If it ends up doing that, then I'll just fast forward. Keep keep uh, your guys' attention. So, I'll go ahead and fast forward. I'll be right back. Alright, well, that was relatively easy. I know I took a little bit of bad damage, but you know what? It is what it is. Hush got two good looks in, but we got a revenge for all the uh, runes that he's, or all the runs that he's ruined. And sure, we'll take another luck upgrade. We have 10 luck. It's like we have uh, perfection to start with. Wow, would you look at that? Uh, activates the Bible effect. Eh, well, we don't really need that. And we get Guppy's tail. That's what? Two or three for Guppy? I don't remember. Whoa.
Alright, so hopefully we'll end up finding Delirium here soon. Hey, there he is, right there. Alright, well, I can get through this fight. I'll probably end up having to, you know, really focus here, because, well, I am not, uh, the best when it comes to fighting Delirium. I've only fought him to complete achievements. Let's go ahead and just use that now. But we are doing pretty good damage against them. It's probably mostly due to the one uh, Jacob's Ladder and Conjoined and everything else that we have. Alright, well, that was kind of a quick run, I'm not going to lie. But if you enjoyed this video, stick around for more. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.